Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Um, today I just got my uh, Area 419 uh, Orange Vice. So that's the really nice gunsmithing vice. And what I'm going to end up doing is putting it over here on my table. Uh, kind of off the side out of the way. And then uh, I'm going to take it off there and just leave the base there. And then when I need to do gunsmithing stuff, changing barrels, whatever, I can do it off this bench. But let's unbox it today. All right, UPS just delivered. UPS has a little damage here. I'm kind of surprised. They usually do a pretty good job. And this came to me basically overnight. Uh, no, not basically. It came to me overnight because it was shipped yesterday. I got it today. Um, and that's because uh, I live literally uh, the state right next to them. So I'm in Michigan and they're in Ohio, I think. All right, so here we go. Area 419. Got a... This has got to be the components to it. There. And then we got some packing. All right. We got the packing with those. Uh, uh, I hate the. Oh, we got an orange vice. Orange uh, vice company sticker. And we've got lots and lots of uh, peanuts there. I hate peanuts, but that's all right. I get it. I'd rather have this thing show up without a scratch on it than have to worry about it. Uh, this is the handle, okay, for it. And, uh, and then we got the vise itself with lots and lots of good packing around it. So really, I guess I'm not complaining there. Got lots of uh, good packing around it. Lots of... Uh, yeah, so it comes in very nice. All right, and that's what that bad boy looks like so far. All right, so let's work on getting off this paper here, this uh, plastic wrap. And uh, we're gonna cut it off there without cutting too deep. Because I'm not going to scratch this puppy at all. All right. Rip and tear the stuff off. And once I get it through here, I use my fingers. I'm not going to have to worry about cutting and causing a problem. So, all right. So, we're going to cut on this side real quick. Completely here. We kind of connect the dots there. Yeah, we got one side and then the other. Good. All right. So have not nicked it thus far. Oh, there's a little protective cup here. Looks like that cup just goes on the front there. Uh, it doesn't stay there, obviously, but a little protective cup there. All right. And bear with me as we work on getting the rest of this off. And again, I'm going to cut very carefully. I'm not going to scratch this. All right, there we go. Good. Coming up and off easy. There we go. All right. And then, I'm just going to pull it off the rest of the way. There we go. All right, all the packaging is off. Not too much of a big deal. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> that thing is cool, man. Woo! That is a big vice. 30 pounds of precision engineering. All right, so I guess you need a quarter inch. Uh, plus, there's another, I think, a 5 16 or something you need. I, I can't remember, but uh, that's the quarter inch. Let's open up the box here. So this thing here, this is our... our uh, thing here this is our handle so we'll slide that through and then we'll put the rubber bumper back on here of course 
just easier said than done. There we go. Okay, yeah, this went up 300 bucks, excuse me, $300 in price. So, and that just screws back on nice and easy. Okay, there we go. And then uh, obviously we can open it up. And we've got these, uh, oh, these we gotta take out by the threads there. Okay, so, um, all right, so let's see what we got in the box. We're gonna set this big boy aside for a minute. Let's see what we got in the box here. So, let's cut down there, across here, and here. I used a brand new sharp blade for this so that I could get that plastic off. Okay, there you go. So, wow, really nice. Nicely uh, shipped. Here's our two main uh, jaws here. And then we got our kit. Okay, and then this is a, a nice little kit here that has your different uh, barrels. So they have the little ball detent in the back there. Y'all can see that's a little ball detent. And it comes in this little plastic storage, or I'm sorry, aluminum storage tray, not plastic. This is an aluminum storage tray with rubber feet on it. Wow, that's really nice. Uh, they stay right there. Oh, look, it's got even got the measurements on there for you, written. So you can see which each one is. Your standard V-block here. Uh, so there's two of them, you know, two in each size. And uh, then what you're gonna do here is those go in underneath here once we get these in. So these aluminum ones will come out. These will go in like that, yeah. And then, uh, then you've got these in and holding, and then you will slide these into the bottom here. You slide these into the bottom detent here like this, and then they snap in, and then you would get your... So let's see if we can swap out these really quick. Let's see if we can... Oh, and here's the... So the base, which I kind of like, is here, and... Uh, this is what I'm gonna do. So let me show you the base first really quick. So I, I saw this How this works online, but here's the base. So we're gonna take that base off And you got to loosen these up enough so that they're gonna you don't want to take them all the way You don't have to take them all the way out, but you got to loosen them up a good amount All right, so that's your base. Okay so this base and you can get a couple of these bases and just move this around to whatever bench you need it on. So this base here, for me, is gonna go right there. You can kind of see it on the corner over here. So this is gonna go kind of just off the edge of my bench. I'm gonna cut back this, obviously this, uh, cut a hole in it around here. I'm gonna set the, put, mount this here, and then I'm gonna set, so then the vise has this big, you know, that big button down here. This thing here just goes in there and that's where it swivels off of. So, that's where that's going to go for me. And then like I said, I'm going to have this off and in storage until I need it. And then when I'm doing anything I need, I'm just going to pull it off and uh, stick it back on its base. And then um, I don't have to have it on the bench all the time, which is kind of nice. And uh, let me just see which, which key, Allen key it takes to get these, um, yeah, this went from, I think, $1,300 to $1,600 for it. But again, you know, you always get what you pay for. And I get, you know, everything with inflation is now much more expensive. Uh, so, I think it's a five. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. So, this is a uh, five thirty seconds. Uh, and then this is what you will use to pop out these regular aluminum ones. Um, so there's your aluminum one. And then we're gonna put this one in. Just like that. And then it meets a detent in there and locks in place. Okay. I'm gonna tighten those down a little bit harder here in a second, but 
you know, I don't think you could use this much. You're going to use this a lot, the quarter inch, to tighten these down here if you want it to rotate. So these, there's two, and I'll show them to you in a second, but these, there's two uh, Allen keys here that are quarter inch. These two quarter inchers allow you to rotate the vise this way. And then this also does your base, uh, holds your base in place. So your, your base in place, there you go, a little uh, rhyme. Holds the base, uh, holds it into the base. So I just need to mount this to the bench. Once I get it mounted to the bench, I'll do a, a better video for y'all. But there you go. So you got your two, two, uh, you know, and I'm just going to stick a rubber band around those probably and keep them somewhere uh, close to the bench. But, you know, and then this one here goes in there and it fits in. I mean, just the machining on this is just gorgeous. I mean, just unbelievable. Uh, very, very precision. Yeah, I would never, you know, like he says in his video, don't ever take a, don't ever weld on this and don't ever take a hammer to it. You know, this is a precision vice. This is like a scientific um, scale, you know. You, you wouldn't roll your truck up on a scientific scale to weigh it. <laughs> so, you know, I would certainly not uh, ever do... I'm just kind of snugging these down. I'm not going to gorilla tighten them, but yeah, just snug them down. And uh, yeah, you would not put your truck on a scientific scale to weigh it. So, you know, don't do that with this. And then the nice thing about this one too is, you know, let's say for whatever reason you needed to move this. So you could move this thing here back to here. That's another cool thing about this. So you could increase the grasping capacity significantly pop this off set it back there you still got your you know back and forth movement to lock stuff in but it gives you a much bigger uh, jaw clamping size so all right and then you can kind of see here when we screw this shut so you've got your uh, and then we'll put it on its side really quick you can kind of see it all right so here we go so you got your you know Arcus rail up here you got your picatinny rail would go in there um you can put you know a bolt or whatever you wanted to in here and um you could also put your bolt in vertically here and work on it so he shows that in the video too that you can do that um so let's uh let me just show you so you take these here and uh we'll spin this open really quick just to get a better view in there. It's gonna change the balance of it, but that's right. Oh my God, this thing is so smooth. Uh, tight, but smooth. I mean, just incredible. Uh, okay, so you take this here with the little detent and you slide that in. Oh, if I can get it lined up right. Where are we? Gotta get it in the slot there. There we go, in the slot there. So you can center it or you can put it on uh, there's the, that detent there, detent there, or detent there, depending on what you're working on. But you put one on each side and then clamp your barrel in there. Um, and then you can rotate this too. So, you know, by, un, by loosening these up here, you could rotate this all the way. Uh, if it's hanging over the bench, you could rotate all the way so this end would be up. You know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, regardless, I mean, this thing is just... Wow, this is amazing. This is, again, this is like their press. This is a once in a lifetime purchase. Um, you know, this is never going to be, I'm never gonna have to replace this. Um, I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna do a good job of taking care of it like I do all my tools. And, you know, really, again, just, you're never gonna have to worry about it. You know, you keep, you maintain it, maintain your stuff and it'll last forever. So then you just pop that out and you pop it back in your aluminum holding stand, uh, which is really nice. And then they don't just fall out either. The detent holds them in there. So it's got the four little rubber feet on it. It's all aluminum. Again, what you'd expect from Area 419. I mean, their stuff is just absolutely bomb proof. Um, and like I said, this is a vice that will last me the rest of my life. And it will certainly uh, serve me well in my reloading, uh, and gun work, uh, that I do. Cause I, I do change out 
barrels. I do change out suppressor uh, holders. So, you know, your suppressor uh, mounts, like the muzzle brakes that are suppressor quick mounts. So I do change that stuff out and do use it. And like I said, then you got your nice little extra pair of just regular old perfectly machined uh, aluminum jaws that you can swap out of here. And again, a matter of seconds, uh, you know, 30 seconds, you can swap these out. So, but uh, that's what she looks like, huh? There you go, so that's the unboxing. Once I get it mounted on the bench, I'll do a little bit more in depth on it. But the Orange Vice from Area 419, just got it today, just pulled it out of the box. Uh, thought I'd share it with everybody. And uh, thanks again for watching Doc G's Reloading.